Okay, I am back at it once again. I wanted to, uh, oh man. I basically wanted to talk about, um, another good fighter of mine, or basically another good boxer that has won her second professional fight, and, wait, hold on, give me one second, I apologize. I apologize, because I am, well, not really sick, but technically, like, I'm, like, I'm just trying to get over it through this sickness that I'm having, but, um, oh, wow, this is crazy. Uh, give me one more minute, guys. I apologize. But, um, I wanted to give a huge shout-out to the most beautiful black girl boxer, Franchin Cruz, in, in which I actually talk to her sometimes on Twitter. But, you know, like, I'm pretty sure her struggle's real, so, I mean, like, technically she's only 23, so I'm turning 22 in, like, yeah, literally 16 days. But, um... You know, big shout out to her. She won her second professional fight. Obviously, this is like the girl that went up against Clarissa Shields for her first bout before Clarissa won her title up against Sylvia Zasbados in her boxing fight uh, title, uh, you know, for her second match. But uh, Franchin, in which I'm pretty sure I could just pull it up, which uh, I could try to find out. But, um, oh wow. Give me one second. I got you, but this is why being sick sucks. <laughs> it's all this fucking mucus like that. I'm just like uh, basically picking up. Ugh. I really hate being sick. But uh, let's type it up. French and motherfucking cruise. Second pro fight. Or. Well, versus uh, Tasha or Tori. Tori something. Uh, no, no, like I don't want that. Um, Franch and Cruz, yeah. We will find her. We will find her. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, but definitely, like, I wish that that uh, there there was a fight to show you know, her second professional, or professional fight to get her first one. Man, uh, what the fuck? Man, like, I'm trying to find Box Rec. Box Rec, boy. Yeah, let me look at right here. Hold on. Wow, you're five foot seven. Man, like, I'm only, like, well, technically, because I am taller than you, because I am fucking six feet tall, nigga. But, uh, yeah, that is her name, Latasha Burton. Hold on, let me just put it in. Because, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find that fight. But, um, hold up. I apologize, which I'll probably just look at a basic article because I don't want my computer to be heating up. And then I guess I would have to restart my computer. Because for some odd reason, my data, basically my memory and my computer just, just, just turns off. Which is not bad or anything. It's just like, you know, my computer just tries to basically slow down when I'm trying to record and I don't understand that but um, give me one second Franchin Cruz versus uh, Latasha Burton let's see, let's see, let's see what we got alright <coughs> hmm you probably just probably put in well, oh uh, shit, like, because unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we cannot see anything, you know, for this fight, which I really do want to see it, but, um, let's see, let me, let me just put that on, maybe we might get some luck, uh, maybe some news on it, can we get news, hold on, let me get some news, because I want to get it up on this commentary, uh, French and Cruz boxing. Dude, Google, why are you being so retarded? This is really retarded. You don't have anything on her. You don't. You don't have any possible images. Obviously, yes, yeah, she got pummeled. No, technically not. But you know, <laughs> that that would have been that would have been kind of like you know like pretty um ironic just to have me have me make a typical video. 
of her getting beat by my basically my cool friend over Twitter, which I probably have a better time talking to her in person, Clarissa Shields, that is a Dragon Ball Z lover, because that is why she's my girl, woo! But not, uh, sh uh, like, to me personally, because I really do think that they're very cool people. Um, like, you know, like, I, I like, oh, wow. Because I could definitely see myself, you know, probably going out to bigger parts of, like, with bigger parts of, like, the nation, and then hopefully one day that I could actually pop like basically, basically run into them, and and basically have a good time, like uh, like uh, chatting with them. But um, you know, until that happens, you know, we just gotta be doing what we gotta do. But uh, no, I cannot find it. Um, I'm really trying to find, like, like basically, really trying to find out where their most recent fights are. And now it's just not gonna show me. But um, oh wow, give me one second. Uh, there's really nothing. <sighs> Shit. There's like nothing. Nothing that I can find. No recent photos, no nothing. But, uh, yeah, let me just close this up real quick. But, yeah, back to what I was gonna say, you know, like, uh, uh cause I'm pretty sure during that fight that she had up against Lashashia Burton, she was able to take her down in round two by a TKO, a TKO victory, which I'm pretty sure it would just told me by box rec. But, um, that was a pretty good fight. I definitely really did think that, you know, most fights, like, most fights that I could see out of, you know, like, the middleweight class, which I feel like it should just be more heavily populated for women's boxing, which I just kind of think, like, personally, when girls fight, or no, when girls look at boxing, they don't, like, like, Probably number one, my like my guess on it is like that that uh, they just don't want their pretty face getting beat up, and they just think that oh no, like I just don't want to try to have to get myself pummeled by by like another girl, when clearly like you know like like there's no such thing as you having bigger size that's gonna help you win a fight, and personally, like when people try to get all sexist about boxing. They always try to make girls look like that, that, uh, that, uh, they ain't shit or something. When clearly, like, girls, they can punch. Like, Lucia Riker, one of my favorite boxers known to the fucking world, can knock out bigger men than her. And, personally, that's kind of like the same thing with, uh, like, uh, oh, wow, well, with Regina Halbich, who's also my favorite fighter. And, you know, with her, like, sh uh, like, her, her record is just technically you know, just one loss, and, you know, like, I'm pretty sure that, that, uh, with her, you know, that, uh, sh uh that she could've went, um, undefeated if she really wanted to, and, you know, personally, like, of uh, like, uh, cause I'm very happy for people, people like her that have revamped and actually, actually set itself a big name in boxing that same year, you know, with, uh, like, probably, probably with, uh, Michael Jordan, leading into uh, LeBron James and Kobe era, but you guys understand, like, like the um, evolution of female boxing, like, it shouldn't just be viewed to say girls are weak when it comes down to, to the sport, like, they can't hit, they're just doing it to be used as a fetish, but it's like, no, it's not, man, like, you know, there's plenty of girls out there, like, you know, uh, with, like, with to whom that, that I've spoken to, I spoke to Belinda Lara Quinta. I've actually was pretty lucky to speak with Kenya. Um, Kenya, um, uh, Kenya, uh, Enriquez. And, uh, with her, like, like, I think she's, like, number two or number three ranked fighter. Uh, yeah, number three, number three female ranked fighter known to the world. And I'm very happy that I was able to get, to get in touch with her. Because I just kind of gave out my, uh, respect to her. And, Considering that she wasn't able to speak English, like, I just had to translate most of my English into Spanish, which I can, can speak Spanish, you know, 50% fluently in person, but, I mean, just to make it easier online, like, I just kind of, just, uh, practice and re, re, re reworded my Spanish to make sure that I could talk with her, and I mean, like, I'm, like, like, to me personally, because I'm very happy that I was, um, able to talk to her like that, and I mean, like, like, now that I understand, you know, how some girls kind of feel now, they're just, like, 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 most of them, like, uh, they don't care for how much money that they're getting. 
But if anything, me personally, as like a man looking at it, plus I, I oh wow, I would not mind, you know, technically seeing girls getting paid, you know, quadruple for what they're making, just like men. And personally, you know, that's just not me trying to be like, oh, you're just being, you know, like basically being like being like apologetic for women because women you know like uh, they're just not getting paid that much you know with them boxing and like you're just trying to be you know like a sexist clown or just a pervert how can I be a pervert when clearly guys who try to pay money to go see a fight that actually you know care about you know the boxing um like basically boxing world versus you know just typical rich assholes that just want to you know try to like 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 basically fuck around and like basically fuck around and then do nothing and you know back to the whole rich man thing like you don't have to be rich like you know there's plenty of like, no no there's plenty of dicks out there that try to get their dick wet for no fucking reason because of probably one just being fucking worthless and two they just don't understand like uh, what the fuck that they are doing and that's just them being dumb and I mean you would just rather keep your business like to yourself but I mean you try to expose that to to like another girl or um, or technically anybody. That's just gonna make you look more. That's what that's what that's what's gonna make you be looked at more of a criminal, more than a regular person. So, yeah. With that being said, you know, like uh, like because I really do think you know with a uh, franchise, you know, uh, moving up with into her you know boxing path. Hopefully that she can uh, you know get more sponsorships. Try to find more. Like, like, technically fight more women that are, um, overseas, you know, there's plenty of them. Or even, you know, try to fight, um, Marciela Cornejo, even though that she is a champion, but, I mean, I would not mind seeing that fight, or basically watching it, you know, whenever it comes out. That would be awesome. But most women that I see nowadays, they mostly fight at a more slim weight, which is more in the 145 weight section. Probably all the way down to as little as like 120, 120 or 110 at the very least. But uh, no, like I really do think that you know the future of uh, women's boxing could really be a lot bigger because you know there's a lot more younger women like me or or no no like that are close to my age like me. Oh wow, that just felt so weird. <laughs> but um, when I you know see them you know progressing you know, like me, for what I'm doing for my video games, I feel like that's a really good push, and that would be good enough for them to have a bigger, um, admiration of their own sport, and I'd say personally, that's what makes them have, have more friends, you know, coming down to actually support them, and they have a bigger fan base to be, to be more widely loved, and, um, uh, personally, that's why, uh, for Europe, um, you know, like, like, this only goes for maybe, like, a few countries, or probably even more. I'd probably say Europe, and possibly, um, Asia, and then possibly Africa, but most likely with, with, uh, with, uh, with definitely Mexico and South America, and Central uh, America, where they do, you know, post out more female boxing as a regular thing, because they use that to say, hey, well, you know, take a look at these two fighters, and they're, like, t two of uh, the best fighters ever, and and to be honest, like, you know, like, a lot of people just sink in boxing. It's just all, like, about, you know, you winning. But it's like, no, it's like, it's not about you getting a knockout either. It's just you trying to see a good, you know, well, like, well-rounded fight. And, you know, with every round comes with, you know, more planning on how to take out your fighter or how to slow them down, get them tired. And, you know, there's just more, you know, like, uh... There's more pushback, pushback, pushing, or pushing, or pushing, uh, you know, pressurizing, um, adrenaline to put both fighters in their own, you know, predicament of what they are trying to do next time in order to get the win or probably get a knockout. So, you know, my whole thing with that is that I think that it will get big, uh, you know, obviously this world needs to change and stop, it, and, and stop being so racist and fucking evil to women. But I mean, personally, because uh, I do see it changing. And, yeah. You know, big respect out to Heather Hardy, my little uh, Lysiana Napoleon, 
Kenia Enriquez, much love out to you, senorita, uh, from the Puerto Rican homeland, Ricoa, 24-7, um, um, Anna Serrano, yes, like, uh, like, basically, basically big time, big time fighter, and, you know, you know, with her being, with her being, well, with her being a Puerto Rican, like me, but, obviously, like, I'm like, you know, technically me, K-Rod, K-Rod, so 4 3 five, nah, I, I am half Puerto Rican, but no, 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 like, um, I'm just like your Puerto Rican homeboy, or just K-Rod, just basically K-Rod, that's my new race, K-Rod, <laughs> but no, uh, um, also big other shout outs to, uh, oh wow, um, <clears throat> to, uh, Lucia Riker, uh, uh, to, um, 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 Regina Halmich, uh, and basically just, uh, plenty other ones like that I can't really think of, probably. Well, obviously Clarissa, like Clarissa and then Katie and, and Franchin too. Wow, dude, man. Need to go to fucking bed. Well, obviously, no, no, no. Like, it's not even that late. But, no, no, no. Like, I'm like, because I just need to, like, I try to think things through. And obviously, like, because I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that I can, uh, you know, get things down for you guys to hear things out. And then, uh, yeah, right after that, uh, you know, make more newer content. But I do, like, appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. I will keep you more up to date for newer fights, newer, uh, um, NBA playoff matches, uh, you know, going down to the wire, you know, um, NBA free agency, NBA free agency, and then, um, all their sports, so, I'll talk to you guys later, and I highly appreciate you guys watching this video, peace.